We got ourselves an Infobot. Infobot! Infowars bot. Infowars, I am. <laughs> wow. They're turning the freaking frogs gay! <laughs> oh man. Those crazy frogs. Whatever will we do with them. Tonight on Bottoms Up Gaming! How's it going? How's it going, everybody? What the We're fuck is this? Watching a Disney film. I thought we were watching like a history documentary about World War Two. Nah, I got this sweet. This planet's got this sweet gun, and it's used to defend it the planet. And without it, the planet will fall to dread. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they we need have, to protect the gun. Yeah, they're invading the planet, so they have people there. We actually got to go there and help them. Yes, let's go take down these. Whoa, what the. F Eliminate and Star Watch. Eliminate. Eliminate. They look like a bum, bum, really bum. broad Terminator. Ah. Brains. Clink, my buddy old pal, Clink. My metal companion. I just hope we're not too late. I just like to rub my hands together. They feel good. Yes. Oh, jeez, this lotion is amazing. Oh, special bonus, yes. Oh, we got Ooh, that. what's this? This must be the special. Oh, now we need 60 brains to get the special bonus. Oh. Uh, I'm just going to go save a planet. Yeah, that might be the best. After hey, Gadgetron. I use a Gadgetron to level up my guns like we have not been doing. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Now we got 50 crystals. All right, so this is this is the upgrade slots. Uh, you can upgrade your guns in n different ways. Like we'll do Mr. Zircon because he's awesome. Mr. Zircon's the best. So I love Zircon. he can fire even faster, ten percent faster. Uh, they'll dr when I kill enemies with Zircon, I get more bolts. He'll be out longer. So oh, what shit. I do is I'll click this and I'll go around, and it just unlocks it as it. Okay, I've seen upgrade systems like this before. Well. While you do this, how about uh, I let everyone know what's on tap? There we go. So oh, shit. we got two uh, special perks because of it. Sweet. Yeah. So tonight on tap, we're actually drinking Expedition Stout by Bell's Brewing Company. Ooh, bells are ringing. Oh, I love bells. In Silver bells. <laughs> as you would expect from a stout, it has a really nice dark flavor. You got a nice aroma it's of chocolate. very rich. I mm -hmm. like it though. It's good, and it's a ten point five alcohol by volume. So, if you're gonna be into it, you're gonna be into it for a little bit because you're probably gonna be put out after a couple of these. <laughs> They're definitely strong. Damn. So, like, my favorite things are the Zoo, uh, Mr. Zircon, the Groovatron, and the uh, uh, Proton Drum. The Proton Drum is awesome. It hits bosses. Uh, the even that's why I like the uh, Groovernator because the Groovernator makes the bosses dance and it actually stops certain bosses from attacking you so much. Damn, Brian, bringing yeah. all the knowledge to the table tonight. I uh, I took this game home and beat it in like five hours. Damn. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully we can start getting through it a little bit faster then. Yeah, that's why I'm a little just, bit faster now. Just doing this because like there's also these. Now. I think we started a couple here. Yeah. Probably when like it first came up and they taught us about it, but we never did anything after it. Yeah. Which. Uh, oh, well, what can you do, right? Yeah. I guess it's an achievement just being able to get this far without upgrading shit. That's what I was telling my buddy. I was just like, dude, I've been playing Ratchet and Clank and didn't realize that I could upgrade my shit at all for like the longest time. Yeah, dude. And I was just like, why are these bosses so hard? So, Brian, hmm. what would you rate Expedition Stout on the pint scale? Uh, I want to say three, because it's not, like, the best stout. I agree. I, I mean, it's it has a really dark taste, but almost it's a little too overbearing at times. Like, you got to either make sure... Uh, would you say this is more of, like, a cold or a warm beer? Because I know some beers need to be warm when drunk. This is definitely a cold beer. This is a cold beer? Okay. Well... This needs to be colder, in my opinion. Maybe we yeah. should have had it um, in the fridge a little bit longer, because the taste is just a little, like, it's sharp right yeah. now. And I don't know if that's just because it's What's warm. What's the date on the bit. bottle? That's a good question. 
Not that. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Always check your beer, folks. Always check your beer. I don't even want to say. I've been bamboozled. We've been Shanghai, Brian. We've been Shanghai. Brian, we've been Shanghai. <laughs> We've been shaking. Do you want to know what the package date on this bottle is? No. Unless yeah. they unless they flip the year and the day around. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know? Yeah. 10 16 15. Oh jeez. That's like over a year old unless they flip the date around and it's actually like 10 15 16. But that doesn't even make sense. I well, no, that would mean it was like Five days ago. Crack up in these boxes. You picked up this beer on Sunday. So therefore that's very plausible. Yeah. I mean it is. I mean that means it'd be a super fresh batch though. Super I call it super fresh. He's the either that or man. this beer is exactly a year and four days old. That's scary. It's older right, than let's us. Do this. Yeah, I know what I'm doing, guy. Alright. Uh, I'm fucking really good at grinding. Yeah? You're yeah. getting better at it? Yeah. Look at my ollies. Aw, oh, shit. Kickflip. Do a nollie now. Oh, pop shove. A nollie? How has your adventures at the skate park been going? Pretty good. Uh, I'm Any working more at doing bolt, like going through bowls and shit. Oh, okay. Um, that's the one. Th if I ever picked up skateboarding, that's always what I've wanted to do. I like, is, like pools more than vert, to be honest. Yeah, like swimming pools and shit like that. Vert is fun. It's just bowls. You have this like fluid motion where you can just like you can hook through turns. I really think easily. we're going back and forth. No, you had to do it. I was oh. just picking up a hollow card. Ah, okay. That's the one. Whoa! Hit it. Wow. Hit it good. That's the one thing I've always liked about these games and hated at the same time. That these grinding sections are pretty awesome, but you can get kind of stuck in loops if yeah. you're not careful. And sometimes, the, like, if you miss a part, you'll have to go through it again. Yeah, you'll have to restart from, like, the beginning, or if there was luckily a checkpoint, I mean. Ugh. You know what I actually I could go for? Hmm. A good old school game where all you could rely on was checkpoints. A good checkpoint game? Yeah. A checkpointy like, game? Like, I don't want to say Super Mario World, because I would want to stay away from that, but maybe, like, uh... Ooh, actually, this doesn't really have checkpoints, but do you remember that, like, it was, like, Cool Kids Snowboarding or something like that for the Nintendo 64? No. Basically, think of, like, Chibi as SFX, I think it is. You know, that really popular snowboarding yeah. game from back in the day. My favorite is, uh, SSX Tricky. SSX tricky. SSX tricky, 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 tricky. Dude, Who's this uh, guy. This is a guy that's on Ratchet, not Ratchet's homeworld, but the planet we met him on at the beginning. This is the guy who owns the uh, the garage. Oh, okay. Yeah, so and that's like, his brother over there. <laughs> he lives on his another planet. Shirt. Which actually, this planet's really awesome because uh, you can go swimming in it, and the water looks like pleasant enough to where you want to go swimming in it. That's always nice. I've noticed that about like the few Ratchet and Clank games I have played, is there's always one planet that's like very, I almost want to say tropical. Like yeah. it looks like you'd be going down to say, the Caribbean or something like that. I like the Caribbean. Okay, I've so always we, wanted to go down to the Caribbean. We did that little thing. That's kind of a side mission dealio. Here's a question for you, There's Brian. You huh. could travel anywhere in the world. Where would you want to travel to? Oh, uh, right now. Anywhere. I mean, I want to say New Zealand. I really want to go to New Zealand. That or Australia. Cool. I've always wanted to go to Australia, and like I had the chance when I was younger, and it was gonna be with like this camp type thing, yeah. and we were gonna actually learn how to dive and like go into the Great Barrier Reef and shit like that. But we Dude, did not have the money when that I was been younger. Awesome. But I mean, it would have been a cool experience, but. I can always try to do that now as an adult, which would be cool, I guess, before the barrier reefs disappear, but... Yeah. I mean, all those posts, from my understanding, aren't very truthful. Yeah, part of it is gone, but it's not as deteriorated as a lot of people are saying. 
Come on, I think it's like that. Come on, you got this. Oh, shit. So one didn't even have to be on, huh? Yeah. Whoa, where are you going without the bolts, man? The bolts want to get They'll the follow bolts. me. I'm getting these holo cards. Wow. Collecting them like they're magic cards now, huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. On top of this building is a gold uh, bolt. Ooh, I Drop. like gold bolts. Dropping now. What do the gold bolts even do since you've now gone through the game by yourself? I think they unlock things. I actually am not 100% sure. What oh, the yeah, hell just blew you up? Oh, Mr. Zircon's bored. Hey, there it is. Yep. Look at that big shiny nut. Da, 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 da. Oh, wait, no, that's a bolt. You want to touch my bolt? Got a big bolt for you. All right. Actually, I don't think I went over here when I played my playthrough. Oh, no? No. I think I just... Explored new territory. Yeah. Look at that. I just Another saw this shots. on the other side. Whoa. And now we get to use the moon boots. Dude, this is cool. And there's combat over here. Awesome. We... You always gotta love a little bit of combat. Oh. I mean, who doesn't even... love to be in the fray? <laughs> didn't even have to go up that way. Just had to go around. Yeah. What's your one? What the fuck? R1. Oh, yeah. What I've been doing. Oh, Come shit. On, this is like Help uh, me out. What was that one really popular mission in Call of Duty where you were in like this... I think it was in Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2 where like you were scaling the icy cliffside. Um, I don't know the name of it, but I know exactly what you're talking about. I remember like that was such a cool mission just because it actually like gave you the aspect of climbing and stuff like that. You fucked me up, chick. The chick fucked you she up, She really huh? did. She, she like, sent you down to the dogs. She got in my way as I was trying to oh, fuck. Shit. I can't even get off the ground. This is crazy. Zircon, I need your help. Zircon's like, yo, bro, you're on your own this time. Everybody dance. That's how it's gonna oh, go Oh, God, now. they got their own Zircons. She fucked up my jump. She did. Do you want to get back at this next time I'm Bottoms Up Gaming? On next Bottoms Up Gaming, I'll... Do more than just make these enemies dance. Oh, yeah. Getting down. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Wingspan. You know, the wingspan makes up most of their body, I don't right? have a sense of, like, a, a sense of self for this thing. You're not an aviatory predator? Nah, dude. I'm not a pterodactyl. Come on. Brian the pterodactyl would be sweet. 